yeah, I, I started doing breath work about seven years ago. Uh, a dear friend of mine introduced me to it. I was very resistant. Um, I was kind of closed minded, I guess you could say spiritually. And what he was talking about sounded like some voodoo, man. It sounded like some weird crap and, um, you know, some kind of incantation of demonic spirits or something. It, <laughs> it sounded real, real weird to me, burning sage and, you know, having these uh, traumatic experiences be released and inner child work and, you know, self-healing. I was like, man, if I could heal myself. I wouldn't be in sober living. Right now. We, we actually lived in sober living together, you know, and like I was, I was a very different person years ago, man. I'm talking about, you know, trust your, trust your, you know, your soul and get, let your, you know, be guided by your heart. And I was like, man, I got a crippled heart, dude. I want death and destruction. I'm a maniac. Um, but again, I was focused on the, on the problem, right? I was trying to overcome uh, through my own might and through my own ability. And what uh, Einstein has a quote, it says, you know, to try to overcome a problem with the same mind that created the problem is insane. You know, the, to, to, to solve something that I created, uh, I, I must first become an enhanced, elevated or higher awareness, a new experience deeper wisdom and different perspective individual. So my perspective created the problem. I have to have a new perspective. So anyway, these are things that I've learned since then. And so anyway, the guy broke me down finally six months into it. And I was like, all right, I'll do it. And I did this breath work and I had this, wow, this is like my most authentic self. I've never felt so empty of bullshit and so honest and the way I felt and the tears that came and the, you know, little bit of, uh, you know, little bit of self love that was coming through and a lot of discomfort in the body and, and, and different, you know, resistance that I was facing and distractions and, and all this stuff. But I felt so connected, so calm and, um, so real that there was really no denying what I was feeling. It was too beautiful and honest to be fake. Um, and so my mind was just kind of changed in that moment. I got certified in breath work a long time ago. I taught it in rehabs for some years, uh, put it on the side and, and, and started doing other work. And, and the last nine months uh, have strictly been working in rehabs and, and detoxes. And giving away this medicine, essentially, of, of working on many different levels with the breath work. So the breath work that I have been utilizing is transformative breath work. We do spiritual and emotional work. We're not, I'm not working to overcome cold. I'm not working to overcome heat. I'm not working to, um, you know, change my biology. Mm. I'm, I'm working to tap into to source and to purge from me these blockages, these old ideas and these um, attachments that I that I have that are blocking me off from being right here, right now, um, a worker amongst workers, safe and protected, having as much abundance as everything else has every flower every tree every bird every bee the the sun the moon the ocean the tide it's all working in this beautiful harmony you know it has as much sunlight as it needs as much much nourishment from the soil no bird ever goes hungry they have all the seeds and bugs they need to eat they have all the materials to build their home right uh the the the, the plants are doing this beautiful job of creating oxygen for us and cleaning the atmosphere and they're all living their divine purpose but i'm not you know yeah. terminal uniqueness is a term we have for this right yeah. i'm different and in this place, when you get honest with yourself through the breath, you literally have a spiritual awakening or an enhanced awareness of how futile and fatal this type of thinking is and how, how really everything is right here, right now. Like this moment, wow, 
and you come into alignment, man, with, with yourself, with your higher self, with spirit, with others, you know, and boy, it feeds your soul, man. This is the Knocking Doors Down podcast featuring celebrities, experts, and everyday people who have overcome adversities, including addiction, mental health, and trauma to live purposeful lives. And that's what Knocking Doors Down is all about.